Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKid1313 here with another one of my redstone creations. What I have in front of me is an item conveyor belt. It is nothing too complicated and not anything too fancy, and I'm sure someone already has already probably done this. However, I did not watch any videos on this, so I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself here. So I'm going to show you how it works first. You go up to here, and you can throw a stack of whatever you may have. Let's do redstone. Alrighty. We're going to cover that up, that way it doesn't go backwards, and we're going to flip the lever. We're then going to go all the way down here, and wait at the end of the line. And we see that there's some redstone coming our way. And if we look, we have all 64 pieces of redstone back. How awesome is that? I like it. I like it a lot. Now, uh, like I said, it's not too complicated, but it's not really the most reliable thing either. Probably because I have it a little bit fast. You could, of course, slow this down and it would have a uh, higher success rate or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, if you want to do that so that it works 100% of the time, I think right now it works about 80% of the time. Um, but, you know, that's, that's still pretty cool. I like it. So, like, a good use for this would be, I don't know, having this on your strip mine and this along the side of it, and then you could just put your items in anywhere, and bam, you could transport your items back home. So that's pretty cool. Let's go over here, and I'll show you how to build it. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and just get some different colors of wool. It helps. And we're going to start off by just placing a block. I don't want that color. I want this color. Alright. And we're going to, I don't know, make this go... We're going to make this uh, a 10 long, so there. Now this should have 10 right here, and it does. And now we're going to start wiring it up. No, we have not put the pistons, but I found out that if you put the pistons down first, it's a, it's a little bit hard, more difficult to do all the wiring. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I guess we're already started. We're going to put a redstone uh, repeater right there, and we're going to put two. No delay on those. I lied. You're going to put two delay. Alrighty. And then this is what's going to be connected to your button. So you have your piece of wool right there, that, and then a button. Alright. So now that that works, this redstone signal is going to travel into this block. We want it to travel out of the block, so we're going to put another redstone repeater right there. And then we're going to wrap this around into the next block, and we're just going to keep doing this. Alrighty, so it's going from this block out and around to this block. Now we're going to have it go to this block, but we can't have this be two, so we only have to. We can only have it uh, be like one. It only goes out one. That way, these two redstone things, redstone um, dusts, don't uh, cross. And then we're going to put another repeater just like that. And on these, we're going to put one tick delay on each. So just right-click them once. Same with these right here. Now when this goes out, if we were to continue our pattern, we would go like this. Alrighty, one tick, and then to redstone. But oh no, our redstone wire, wire is crossed. So we're going to set these back to no delay whatsoever, and we're going to have two repeaters going out, and then two repeaters going back in. Okay, that's pretty cool. And with these, since we have four, there's going to be no delay, or no extra delay than these, because each repeater has a one tick delay, so it would be one, two, three, four. On these ones, they have an extra tick delay, so they would have a total of two. So when it comes out, it would be one, two, three, four. So it's still the same amount, and that's why we are able to do this. Now we're just going to continue this pattern, like so. No delay. Oops. One delay. One delay. One delay. And then none. And then we're just, you know, going to repeat this. It's pretty simple. Like I said, nothing that's too complicated, because I usually do not do redstone. And then we're just going to connect each individual one. And just be careful about having your redstone wires cross, because that, that wouldn't be good. So now if we go ahead and flip our, or press our button, we should notice kind of a pattern. And we do. That's awesome. Now we can go ahead and put our pistons on here. You're going to put them to where they're facing up. There we go. Perfect. So now if we flip our button, we'll see that the pistons 
go off one after the other. Awesome. Okay, now for the next step. We have to have a block on top of these pistons. Because I'm not sure if uh, pistons are able to move um, items. Basically the way that this works is I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm going to put my piston right here and I'm going to go around like so. There we go. And this is pretty much how it works. This is just one of the chains, okay? There we go. Don't want to block there. Alright. So basically the way that this is working is when there are items on here, we're just going to drop a whole stack. And then when our um, piston is activated with, I don't know, a lever, what you're going to see is that it actually pushed the items forward. And then there would be another piston here that pushes it forward one more. And that's why we have it going off uh, kind of one after the other one here. And that's pretty much how the system works. It's not too complicated at all. Um, so let me go ahead and get my redstone back. And let's go ahead and do the rest of this. Now if we were to, I don't know, put our items on here just like this, it wouldn't do anything because there's no blocks surrounding it, so it's just going to travel up. Alright? So that's not exactly what we want to happen. We're going to collect our items, and we're going to make this a little three wide pathway. There we go. Now we have to have the, make this have walls or else it's just going to go off to the side. And there we go. And there we go. And then we're going to make these walls go up one more. I missed one. And there we go. And then we have a ceiling so we have pretty much just a one block space for these items to travel. Alright, and now we're going to just make something uh, where we put them in. Alrighty, so now we're going to throw our items in. We're going to put a block right there, that way they don't go backwards. We're going to push our button. Let's see if this works. Bam! Go down. We'll see that we have all 64 of our items. And then this, like I said, pretty easy to expand. You just repeat this whole system that we have right here. The next one after this one would be um, one. Uh, each with an extra tick delay, and then it would be two, and then you would just hook all those up. So that's that's all there is to it. There really is nothing fancy about this system, but I don't know, it, be, it could be pretty useful um, if you have a lot of redstone in your, I don't know, Let's Play world or something. <laughs> go ahead and make this. It would be pretty awesome for when you're mining. So... Now that I showed you how to do it, I'm going to show you how to use this along with one of my previous videos on how to make the item elevator. Let's travel on over there. Alright, so here I am over this by this huge contraption. And we see this. We just have to break that. You could use a piston to cover it if you really wanted to, but I just break it. And then we're going to replace it. So we put a stack of redstone in there. And we're going to flip this lever. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to wait patiently up here. It may take a while, just telling you. Let's see if we could hear it. I think it's going up the uh, elevator now. Almost here. Like I said, it's really slow, but it kind of has to in order for the items to keep up. Bam! Let's see if we have all 64. And we do. So as you can see, I just combined the conveyor belt with that. So let me go ahead and just show you how the whole system looks. I'm going to go like this. And let's see. Glass. There we go. Alrighty. So as you can see, oh, let me get the uh, blue wool too. This is when you can see the uh, amazing powers of uh, world edit and single player commands. It's pretty awesome. And of course, this doesn't work because it was glass. Did I have any wiring on blue? Crap, I think I did. 
<laughs> well, it's not going to work now, because uh, I just kind of messed it up. But anyways, if we were to have a redstone torch here, oh yeah, oops, lol, <laughs> shit. Alright, so I was trying to show you guys how exactly this works by replacing all the wool with glass with my good friend World Edit. Um, but I forgot one thing that redstone cannot be placed on glass. So I got something that looks like this. But you can pretty much see each individual component of this system still. You have your item conveyor belt that's going to be surrounded by wool, and the redstone is just going to go off in order, and it's going to push the items this way. Once it's finished pushing the items this way, it's going to go up here where the item elevator is going to start and these uh, pistons are going to go off one after that 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 one and it's going to go all the way up until it finally hits our platform which this one pushes it out and then it's all good so that's just a way to you I don't know use this in an actual uh, like the real like the real uh, world not just in a creative world um, but yeah like I said this is drawing at 1313 um, I apologize if someone else has done this before. I, um, I I haven't watched any videos on it, so I don't know what to tell you if you think that I'm cheating or whatnot. Um, but I mean, if you want to say that, go ahead. I I really don't care. Anyways, like I said, this has been Drawing Kit 1313 with the little redstone creation that I have and a tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you join me next time. Bye.